Welcome back, everyone, to Hearts of Iron 4, Vanilla, in which we're playing as Confederación Sudamericana. Well, of course, we originally started as Argentina. We have no manpower. We've taken out uh, Paraguay. That's very easy. After you want to take Asuncion. And yeah, there it is. Now we're at war with Bolivia. We're going to go to war with uh, Brazil, but they're going to be like our biggest target so far. Um, I wouldn't mind going to war with Peru as well, but I don't know how long it. 95 days, that's not bad. But so far, we're doing pretty well. We've lost 87 guys versus 8,000. You know, not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, but yeah, we're actually doing very, very well. They're not very strong, which is exactly why I wanted to take them out first. Build up our political power stockpiles. Uh, we lost an operative who was killed. Uh, we only get one a day, which kind of sucks. Um, what is FMA? What is killing us with FMA? Spirit of the Cisplain War, which we'll lose eventually. Oh, it's our research lock. Our research, industrial researcher. Um, so yeah, keep moving in. We're doing very, 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 very well. Helps they threw on another battalion of artillery for our infantry, which is very good. Um, oh, and there's Communist China, I guess, you know. Alright, whatever. Happy 1940, everybody. Huh. Sure, why not? Now, that means if Brazil goes to war with us, that would be very bad. But, hopefully they don't. La Paz, eh? Oh, there's a tile here too. Very nice. And Ching Chan to the world Japanese shogun. And we got him! Oh, Turkey's gone. Well, look here then. Well. Uh, oh, yeah, stage coup, huh? I haven't seen that in a while. Gotta put down some resistance here and whatnot. That'd be good. Um, to get Peru would be nice. We'll see. Uh, supply is probably not too, super, super great. I'm trying to enlarge ourselves as much as possible. Got, like I said, we want as much political power. Um, La Paz. That'd be great. 2.18 million. Yeah, and we just finished technical school, so we now have four research slots. So that's actually fantastic. And of course, we're going to do demand competition from Spain, too. So, more likely if they, they have high opinion of us. Well, they probably do not. So we'll try it anyways. Oh, they're, oh, they're allied with the... Oh, wow. My god, is this a mess. Czechoslovakia is still holding out. And there goes Germany. Yeah, I think Germany's going to definitely lose in this campaign. It's fine with me. I mean, that's why I didn't want to join them. You know, you never know. You can't really trust the Germans, can you? Become a spy master, but I'd rather be, uh, do all this stuff fast. La Paz is very important to do. Choco Boreal or Choco Boreal. Paraguay itself is good to do, but still. <clears throat> good to have cannons. 1940. We literally do not have the support limit. That is not good. Uh, we want some cast. We got need some of this. That'd be nice. We don't have a ton of air XP, but we might be able to do something here. Uh, Produce more airframes. Let's go level three. Yeah. Fighter weapons. I'm kind of okay with what we got right now. Produce more airframes. Level three. Um, armor plates. Armor plates. Self fuel. Small bomb base. I don't know which one I like more. Uh, bomb locks, I guess. Sure, why not? You know. Let me start making them a little bit. That'll be good. Ah. Oh, hello? Oh my, oh, wow. This is disgusting. None of you are in a faction. Oh. Well, Remetrization of Island Islands? Or Alien Islands? So India lost their war against Pakistan, so they're like, okay, we're going to kill ourselves now. Which, okay. I guess that works for them. And also, all these wars are just getting us ready for war with, like I said, Brazil. I do want to finish our land auction as fast as we can, though. Um, yeah, Germany's going to die. Wow, they've already pushed all the way through Hungary, too. Oh, of course, they're, they're in the Axis, or the Nordic Cooperation Alliance. Then there's the Commonwealth of Nations. Fourth international, because we skipped the third. Um, Bulgaria is going to definitely die. Are they at war? Maybe they're not at war. Maybe they're in the Axis, but they're not... Yeah, they're not actually at war. They were smart enough to like say, Hey, let's not kill ourselves here. Yeah, that's probably a smart move. Oh, okay, so now we can go to war with these guys too. I don't think we'll be as successful as we were in Bolivia, but yeah, we'll try. Of course, we need to raise a conscription level too, but... Well, let's see what they give us, if, if anything. Japanese. Okay, Japan! Wow. Uh, this would be good too. I mean, it gives us 30% uh, more recruitable population factor, which is very important when we have none. Uh, defense on core territory. 
I guess we'll do a Fuerza de Era Argentina, because I can still use a daily air XP. Many theorists would argue that the area we currently are falling behind in is the most is what development of a modern air force. Therefore, we should must work hard to remedy this by constructing new hangar and facilities as well as training additional pilots. Sure, why not? Okay, Jing Chen joined Fourth International. So if we go to war with them, will that produce anything good for us? Will they attack us? United yeah, Mexican states join them. Interesting. As long as we're green, that's all I really care about. Uh, huh. Still working on that. Not ideal. Their artillery would be nice. As long as we're green, that's all I care. 3,000. 35,000 losses already. Nice job, guys. Are they on the bank or the brink of becoming fascists themselves? The Alta Conference. Oh. We demand what seemed right. 40. Alright, that's not bad overall. What we're doing here is decent. As much as I like all that stuff. Construction speeds and thick oil. Uh, we're using these guys immediately right now, so I'm just going to do that. We need engineers badly, too. Factory output, that'd be great. I mean, I'm just maximizing soft attack. 58,000 losses already. Amazing. I know they'll attack again, anyways. 2,000. Oh, they're almost out of manpower. Look at that. Out to 40 divisions. Stockpile. We'll see. And. Liberation of Warsaw. Yeah, we're gonna, instead of core more stuff, we're gonna go to the limited conscription. Probably. Oh, they're attacking us. Interesting. Psychological worker, alright. Cool. Destruction of air bases. Support equipment, finally. Good. Armada de Argentina. Our navy is sagging since the Great War to such an extent that many of our vessels are no longer fit for purpose. It's time we invest in the fleet and begin a massive modernization program. Well, we'll see. Establishment of Greater Greece. Wow. Oh, they're attacking us again. Great. The guys are pretty pretty good. Guys, we went down shock and off. This like changed slightly, I thought, maybe. Still going shock and off, a more reinforced rate. We need recon. We need a lot of things, honestly. They've lost already 92,000, which is kind of insane to think about. It's a lot of losses. Of course, they're fascists, so America doesn't really care to protect them too much. And they're running out of manpower, just like us. They might attack us one more time. I'd like to attack here, because that would destroy, like, one, two, three, four, seven divisions. We're trying to do uh, resistance is also very important, too. But we need this immediately as well. We need more aluminum. Ah, uh, uh, very good, very good, very good. And we're gonna do this. You know what? Take only one of you to do that. Take the horse as well. Good. Um well, we do everything we can here for the most part, our own path. Over the last few years, we've managed to focus on ourselves, staying out with, out with the larger global conflict, the ra ravages of the countries. Confederación Sudamericana stands on its own, and we'll make our own decisions as to where our path will take us. Whether we continue to prosper and grow economically, or whether we look to make our own expansion goals remain to be seen. Absolutely. No. Nice. I just beat the crap out of them. There you go. And boom. Come on. Fine, if they really want to stay there, okay. They want to keep attacking. 140,000 losses is, not, is pretty good overall. War bonds would be nice. So I want more political power. I'm surprised we don't get nearly as much. Can you imagine if we didn't have uh, Julio Argentino Pascual Roca or Enrique Ruiz Gonyalzu? Something like that? I don't know I'm saying it really wrong, but still. There we go. Yes, mobilize more. Become halfway decent, please. 46,000 losses, not bad. A strange, strange visitor. This morning, a strange German man speaking questionable Spanish walked into La Casa Rosada, exclaiming that he had great plans for the future of La Confederación Sudamericana. He seems to have the qualifications for the job and very convincing. Shall we pass the government onto him? Absolutely not. Senor Hitler. Wow, plus 25% more political power. Nemo's pretty good. We lose 10% recruitable population factor and 10% more war support. I completely forgot about this. Well, where'd you look at this guy? 
I completely forgot that he actually was a playable, or not playable, but you know, a person that you could get. Alright then. You better not lose. You're not allowed to lose. You lose, you die. And, including your entire family. Ooh, hello. What do you have here? There's Mag? Yeah, recover faster. Why not? Preparing for war? Oh, that sucks. Hey, mobilizing though. That's good. That's good stuff. Uh, 1941 will be next. More output. But build more too. That's important. Build. Build. Do not stop building. You're not allowed to stop building. <clears throat> um, anything else here we really care about? Sure, why not? We'll take that. Our own path. The war machine. As a new regime grows in power, we need to have a military to match it. It's crucial that we invest in raising more military industrial compounds across country, not just in Buenos Aires. Let the pseudo Americano war machine rise. Secure the borders. It'd be wise to ensure that our current borders remain safe against our most dangerous rivals. We must work to install a line of defense along a shared border with the Mapuche state and integralist Brazil, as well as train our military leaders to find the manning force of Blank of the North. Protection is paramount and Argentine island sovereignty. Uh, for too long. The South Atlantic Islands have been held by Britain despite clearly being within the La Confederación Sudamericana sphere of influence. We should rise up and claim what is rightfully ours, even if it means declaring war on Britain. These islands will be uh, Sudamericano by any means necessary. Industrial expansion. A strong industry is the backbone of any economy. We should focus on our research and developing more options for industrial expansion. Or agricultural improvements. Uh, farming has been integral to the development of Confederación Sudamericana for many years, and many people rely on this way of life to earn a living. It's a great opportunity to improve some of the farming infrastructure in rural communities. Uh, Rapid urbanization. A lot of Confederación Sudamericana remains rural, as rural lands, but the way forward into the 20th century as active urbanization. By developing our cities, we can convince more people to move there, meaning we'll gain a significant increase in the workforce for highly industrial centers. And here we are, everybody. I, you know, I just like playing a little bit off screen just because, you know, I wait until like the very last moment before major things happen. Um, so we made an encirclement. Our soldiers have actually done really, really well, taking out 300,000 Peruvians. And uh, this is a giant circle we've just made. So hopefully we can do really well here. And we're not winning everywhere. But it looks like we're getting pretty darn close to it. So, um, But yeah, once this circle is done, the rest of Peru should be relatively easy-ish. Maybe easier, perhaps. Um, so, because it's looking pretty darn nice right now. Of course, like I said, this is all gearing up for a war with uh, Brazil. So, you know what? You guys can hold. You guys can hold. There's just too many divisions there to fight right now. Um, there you go. Throw another general in here because you are just horse guy. And so you're going to be Juan Pestarini. You sound like Hispanic and Italian. That's a lot of divisions there for two, two to fight. Hey, and there you go. Now you're encircled. Now that's pretty good. That's a little easier to fight probably. Of course, this is a mountain tile too. So it's hard to tell sometimes. <clears throat> it looks flat. But it's not really. Which is why it's giving us such hubbub. I'll finish them off. You all hop out right now. I know I'll take these guys out because they're starved for supplies anyway, so it's fine. Still got to core more stuff here. Um, we're looking pretty decent. We got a decent amount of manpower. We did raise the conscription level a little bit. We have 85 factories, which is very nice. Um, we're looking pretty good overall. Very, very good. Hey, and those divisions were deleted. Uh, third of a million casualties. Not bad. I would like to grab this tile if it is possible. Uh, I guess I'd go around, huh? I personally prefer Pacna more, but that's just me. There you go. And we just finished rapid urbanization. Fantastic. Oh, fourth time's a charm. Oh. Oh, the new president and government, there's been an immediate push to make drastic changes to La Confederación Sudamericana in order to emulate the past power that the German Reich possessed. Senor Hitler seems adamant about establishing the Fourth Reich in South America. What could go wrong this time? Oh, get a war goal against all non-fascist nations in South America, and quarters on all former German states. Arma Maravillosa, nuclear reactor and experimental rockets. Great Deutschland plus capture variant. Um, would that piss people off too much? I'm uh, gonna do this thing. So, uh, that sounds like fun, but I don't want to piss anybody off, and there's no way in the world we'd actually be able to get over there. As, uh, well, Germany's a uh, forgotten thought now. Yugoslavia got huge. Even Spain's in Germany. The United States is in Hanover. Czechoslovakia got massive. Or at least shifted over. Um, so, yeah. Hmm. Go ahead. Now we have a cup of coffee here, too. More course, please. This is great. 
I think Feedback Gaming also did this type of campaign too. Look at that. I love it. Beautiful. No, I said all of you to do this. Come on. Just it's still mounts. You know, fighting mounts really sucks, but that's why I wanted that 20% extra attack and whatnot. Because I knew that would be very strong for us for first campaign in this type of playthrough. So, yeah, Gorilla Fighter, it would be bad. Uh, are you level 6? Nice. Um, oh, and now we get less attack, which sucks, but whatever. So now we should be able to do general push through here. Let's get all of our guys on the line. Come on, let's go fast. War Machine's good. Let's get the boards, which I read earlier. Um, that'd be nice. Hey, 93 factories, not bad. We're out of aluminum, which is not ideal. We need a lot of artillery, though. And we need rubber. Hmm. Let's import a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me, shall we? Uh, I don't really want to help our ally out, or not our future enemy, but there's really not a lot of other things we can use here. Let's take four for now. That happens with planes and whatnot, and we're looking pretty good on factories as is, too. Mm. There you go, do that one. Well, we could try it. General attack ish, here ish. Ooh. Got a quepa. Good. Good. Two states which we really want to take. And then Malayenas. Malan. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Field hospitals are also very important too. Our infantry. We're making only infantry divisions now. Our field hospitals and artillery. And engineers, which is very, very nice. Can't take it yet, don't worry about it. We want to get to Lima. It's more important right now. And even more soft stack would be nice. Oops. My bad. Breaking over here would get us into Lima. Anything else? Yes. There you go. It's during the axis? Oh. Fuel storage, synthetic refineries. Go in. We've lost 46,000 versus half a million. That's not bad. Best machine tools. Uh, we don't really need that much oil, actually, so far. Eventually we will, don't get me wrong. Come on. There you go. We're in. Uh, and then let us settle down there just for a little bit. Alequipa. Let's, let's get the borders. Island sovereignty. Well, <clears throat> Oscar Helmut is a pseudo Americano of German origin who, under our old government, was arrested after being discovered as being a collaborator with a fascist government and the German Reich. We should release him immediately and employ him in our own intelligence agency instead. Nice. I want you to lead. Oh man, finding the mountains sucks. More stability would be nice. Oh, drill for oil and charcoal. American oil, uh, American camp, st company, Standard Oil. I discovered oil in the region in the late 20s, but uh, chose to never explore further as it was de deemed too expensive. We wish, however, we could attempt to undertake the endeavor that they did not back wish to back to do then. Bro, really? Yeah, we're not winning here. So for now, the question of Oscar Helmut, uh, under our previous government, an assumed American by the name of or of German descent was arrested on a ship after being sent on a secret mission to the German Reich. We can bargain for his release and allow him to join the ranks of our newly formed intelligence agency. We leave him in prison, stand our ground, guarding your treatment of spies. You prison, stand our ground. Uh, I think he'd be great. Anti-American propaganda in the United States is a bastion of democracy in the Americas, and naturally stands against everything we have worked towards. If we are all up to deal with them, we need, we need to rally our population beyond the cause in order to do so. Uh, we can fuel anti-American sentiment throughout the country. With that fighting spirit behind us, we'll be able to just fight attack against the giant of the north.
could become a spy master if we really wanted to, but. Alright, so we're missing what? Tons of party. Artillery. That's the most we can get from any one nation. This style would probably be the best one to attack, maybe. It's good for field hospitals. Opens them up a little bit more. Pretty weak, so are we. Could you win here, maybe? Maybe not. Well, what if you were supported? More and more well supported, I should say. Now we'll pump up our Mountaineers, because our Mountaineers aren't that great. So at least Lima's been cut off, that's good. Echo control improvements. I think the war will be over before this we have to do this, but that's alright. Wait, what? Why did they go to war with us? Commonwealth of Social Republics? Hello? Wait, Hellas is down here too. The Nordic Defense Council? What happened to Canada? Unitary. Oh, hello. Huh. Cooperation, no to cooperation. The, oh, they're in the access. Commonwealth mutual assistance block. Oh wait, we're fighting. Oh, we're not fighting them yet. No. Window Wilkie. Chinese United Front mutual assistance block. Oh, Nordic. I'm with the Socialist Republics. Why?
But why though? Well, that's not good. Boys, you better go on home before you get blown up. I just want to go to war with Brazil, man. So we're done with our land doctrine, which is great. Um, we're gonna go over here, maybe first engineering schools initiative would be nice. You know what? Why not? We'll grab that. And smoke and fire, burn breakthrough would be good. Suppressive barrage, infiltration tactics, reconnaissance. Um, what about this land doctrine though? I want to do breakthrough. So anything for breakthrough here? Suppressive barrage, delay. No, there's nothing for breakthrough. Five percent. It's not bad. Flexible organization what counts as getting the job done, not following orders of the letter. Vision speed, I like. A rolling barrage of shells is surprisingly effective at keeping the enemy from shooting back. Ask yeah, you, we'll do that one too. Oh. Another soldier's going to line. Breakthrough could be nice. It is 1942, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. Oh, hello. Wow. Wow. Oh, this is disgusting. Second Brazil. Oh, God. The Italian Union. Well, they're independent, actually, so that's okay. So, we have French occupation zone. Soviet occupation zone. So, they actually did East and West Germany here. Interesting. Oh, and the French occupation, no, uh, people's, oh, God, this is a mess. Wow, Commonwealth of Socialist Republics? Oh, why did Poland go to war with us? That's why no one likes communists. They even, took, they even ate up Hungary. Jesus Christ, Hellas formed too. Oh, no, we're fighting them. And the French Mandate of Kurdistan, Soviet Romania. It's only 1942. Oh, and Bulgaria here too exists, the puppet, wow. Holy cow. How oh, was this? Kingdom of Libya. Jesus Christ. What did you all do here? Well, that's the case. We're going to keep boosting these guys up. I'll put, put us over the Special Forces cap, unfortunately. Oopsie. Sure. And, uh, army regrouping, close air support attack, why not? There you go, figure it out. Uh, you go here, you go here, you go here. Did you go here and up to there, fast. Guys, we have a little bit more cast to use now. I hope no one takes this out from the rear. That'd suck. Oh, we're fighting over river two in the mountains, yeah. Oh god. Sixteen hundred thousand. Peru Peru's almost dead. Come on, just die, Peru. That's it. Uh Bro, no, we can't do this yet. Okay, so we gotta do some funky stuff here then. Um, I'm not going to tolerate this. So, I'll see you when we figure this a little bit more out. And, uh, yeah, so the Peru actually dies, and then we can actually do this correctly. Alright, so here we're at. We're looking pretty good. It's looking okay. We're going to go in. They have not guarded the border now. Um, just because... Oh, actually, take a look at this. The 4th International <clears throat> has just gone to war with the Nordic Cooperation Zone, or a faction, or whatever it is. So, Brazil still has, like, up to 50 divisions? 48 divisions, so um, we're going to go in now and see what we can do. Uh, they at war with us anyways, but yeah, doing that, that's like, partially I don't like vanilla sometimes. It's 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 too weird and wacky and random, and I don't like that. Um, so we're going to see what we can do. Uh, does someone else declare war on us too? 
or someone else to go order them to. France called the occupation zone. Well, okay. Let's call this Union of Soviet Union. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna go in no matter what. Uh, let's get over here. It's not ideal. Uh, we're building ourselves up a little more. Roads, civvies, millies, because we need them. My God, do we need them? Um, rubber, we definitely need. And you know what? Let's get more mountaineers. Which means mountaineers will cost less in terms of special forces, which means we can throw more on there. Right? Yes. 21 combat width is not terrible. Hello? Beefy. I like him beefy. Because if we don't have him beefy, not good. So, uh, But yeah, now we found him, finally. Oh, they got a couple divisions, but some have our militia. Some of their divisions are very strong. The infantry can be pretty darn strong. What do we got here? Four fighters? Uh, sure, we'll take in some fighters. We'll go as far in as we possibly can. Um, I don't like this. I really don't like this. I need you guys to go this direction. And the horses actually aren't too bad, actually, either. So... Better field hospitals are nice, but even better engineers, yes. Um, anything here? You can reinforce faster, I guess. I'm gonna say no for now. So they have the divisions, but they are fighting up here too, I thought. Oh, cooperation, cooperative Republic of Guyana. Alright. Keep these guys in place for now. Go here, do there, do there, whatever you can do. Just keep them, that's, the goal is just to keep them in place. That's all that matters right now. As we continue growing more stuff. Nice. Nice, there you go. See, that's what we like to see. Where are they headed to? You should not be allowed to come in through that direction. Because we can't enter that. Atomic research, nuclear Argentina, yes, in 1942. Nice. And now you're back here. Um, so we've actually ignored a lot of this stuff over here. Let's get a capitalized the beef industry. <coughs> Sud Americano beef is one of our primary exports, especially to Great Britain. We should capitalize on this, expanding your ranching capabilities, and ensure that delicious meat is known worldwide. We love our meats. We're a meaty people. Oh god, that's a lot of divisions there. Let's get at least Sao Paulo. That is a lot of divisions. Um, you guys can stop attacking for now. We still need more military factories. Keep working on those. Uh, air is okay, maybe. Maybe not. Do that too. Good. We're gonna need to raise conscription level too. Um, but I want to keep working on that as well. You can. You guys can definitely do this. There you go. Nice. Um. So yeah, this is kind of a mess. Wow, the Soviets are not doing so well, are they? Oh, this Porch Boss not good. Hmm. Capitalism beef industry. Military production lines. With the growing crisis throughout the world, it would be a smart idea to invest in the future of our military production. As we build more factory complexes designated military hardware, then we'll be able to prepare ourselves in the best way possible for the storm to come. Or the storm that we're currently actually literally in right now. Should be able to do that pretty easily. Artillery is looking better. We need more aluminum, though. This Bulgaria. 
I just want to attack into airs out. We're not going to be successful in, you know. It is mountains. That's why we love the mountaineers, which are actually pretty decent now. Um, cold weather. We're not really cold weather people. We're more like rough terrain specialists. Rangers, mountaineers, yeah. Rangers, yeah. <clears throat> and there goes Spain. Not ideal. Can you guys do well here? Maybe. Actually, you both might as well go there then. Yeah, not bad. Are we doing a construction of stuff? Um, here. Not much. We'll do whatever we can there. We are a spy master too, which is good. I would like to do a general attack, but you know, parts of this area tell me that maybe we should not. Like right here. Oh yeah. Um, looking not super strong. We could try it, a general attack. Oh, and we don't want to forget about this either. Our equipa? Yeah. Sure, why not? Ooh. Alright, so other divisions aren't doing so well. Of course, we do have their cyphers broken. Um. Well, they're no, they're democratic. Ejercito Brasileiro. Undiversified economy. Strikes. Ooh, that's good. Rewarding naval loyalty. Operation Boulevard. Ethical internationalism. Na Radio Nacional. <coughs> Excuse me. Anoui. Monroe Doctrine. Separatist sentiments. Ooh. Legacy of the arms. Naval race. Interesting. Advanced computing machines are good too. This is actually a little easier than I thought it would be. That doesn't make any sense to me. Whatever. What are losses like? Well, 34,000 versus how many against Brazil? 147,000. Not bad. Keep coring more. Core, 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 core. Yes, please. Please do not let them win. S Soviet Japan. Okay. <clears throat> the Axis is really getting defeated now. Um, you know what? Fourth time's a charm. Screw it. We're going to do it anyways. Yes, we've had one Hitler once. Yes, how about a second Hitler? Uh, I do like this. Recover the ship. According to Senor Hitler, it is of the utmost greatest importance that we recover the wreck of the Graf Spee, the first German battleship sunk during the war. When no questioned about this, he mumbled something about dignity and don't question me in broken Spanish. Either way, let's raise the Graf Spee. Nice. I really don't want to send a navy in, but I kind of do. I want to see what would like happen over here. Where are they, guys? Oh, engineers are good. I probably should get better some better guns. Agent captured, not ideal, but we might actually be able to end the war before that anything really bad happens there. Is there a river here? There might be, maybe not. Hey, there you go, nice. And then what mountaineers? More initiative. Design cost goes down, ranger cost goes down. Nice. And now we're the fourth Reich. I didn't think we'd end up doing that when I first started this campaign. Uh oh. We actually sunk six destroyers. Nice. Good job, guys. You a little bit of XP. We are on the up and up, my friends. Improved artillery. Hit them even harder, yeah. And then even harder after that. Jing Chen is gone. That's not good for us, probably. I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, convoys. Nice, nice. Argentina's Navy is doing very proud things. But we need this port here, too. No, that's okay. Okay, so now we're just gonna strip hold. Wow. Alright. What'd you like that then? 
build for now because we have like literally no supply. Let's get that port here to help us out a little bit. Wow, he's actually learning. Fascinating. Truly fascinating. Can you do both, maybe? Cool. Um, I'm on yours. More soft attack. Combat width and defense. I want more soft attack. We're using rangers and our line artillery anyways. We can't do this one, huh? Can't test the burn. Uh, I guess we can do this one. Uh, the Roka Urusuman 3 has been in place since 1933, ensuring our beef exports with Great Britain. However, with recent developments around the world, it would be wise to tell this treaty and establish uh, a more beneficial one with the newfound allies. With the La Plata Treaty, better consumer goods factor, resources to market goes down, unfortunately, but. Okay, Panzer Shift. That's too fat, we can't do that one. For now. Suicide Bell's yummy. God dang it, another agent was captured. Are we not? Oh, wow. Oh, we changed our flag. Oh, I didn't even realize we, that we actually did change our flag. Nice. That's fantastic. That's awesome. All right, so what do we got here? Global presence, speed, repair speed. I like the repair. I've always liked the repair speed. I've always found that to be very beneficial. Uh, positioning is also, I think, the strongest one here, too. I could be wrong, but I like positioning. And scholarships. Uh, Superior Tactician and Ironside Experience Game. You know what? We'll go with Grand Fleet. Because that's basically what we're doing here. Uh, come on, build it faster. We literally just have to wait and build right now. Uh, I'm sure we're building too. And then we'll raise up because we're on level again. As long as we have to fight the American Navy and whatnot, we're doing okay with uh, convoy rating. I like it a lot. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. Soon enough, we'll have a port down here too. I know, two ports. Which would be fantastic. Ah, see, that helped out supply a little bit more. See, that helped out all throughout here, which is fantastic. Still not good enough for us yet. Mato Grosso is down here, unfortunately. Um, really, you need another supply thing up here. But if you get supply done here, you would be able to increase supply up slightly further north as well. Just pound those Mexicans. Oh, Nordic Finland accepts Soviet commands, huh? Nice. Wow. Come on, you guys are supposed to help us, like, not lose. Bruh. Alright, we got him back. That's good, at least. Fleet Protector, Spear Tactician, Ironside, and Blue Water Expert. Nice. So see, look at how much that helped out. That's so much nicer. Take that to too. Receive. And then... Hey, way more, ten, more, ten more organization, that's pretty good. Cool. And we'll do that one in a little bit. Uh, Arma Maravillosa. Arma Maravillosa, also known as one weapon, is a program in which we'll attempt to develop stronger rockets and weapons that could change the course of the war. Our president approaches us with a series of water damage documents with incredible ideas that we can put into action immediately. Uh, Brazilians are not looking so good right now. 75,000. Out of artillery and guns. Nice. Well, you know what? They're going to do this because you're going to just see if you can race up to there. Move, horse boys. 
No. Nice. Oh, we got him. Nice. Good stuff. Stone at level four. Now he's level four. You've learned nothing. Okay, that's not great to see. Or here. Oops. Since the war's not over yet, we can't core that stuff, which is going to be a giant problem for us. I might force so that the Commonwealth of Nations goes to war with these guys too, um, just because we can. Let's start raising relations with, with these guys. There you go. Red radar's nice. Um, rocket artillery's not bad. It's 43, it's from output maybe. Because I would like to see this war to its conclusion. And we got a lot of a couple of the focuses we could do if we could do here. Well, we don't have to. Guerra Guerra Relampago. It's also known as lightning wars away, which we can use an overwhelming force and mechanize firepower to overcome our enemies. Our present wishes to expeditiously expand, claiming to be making up for lost time. Uh, for some reason these plans will extend to the old lands of the French occupation occupation zone as well. Hmm, I wonder why. Interesting thought. But I guess the main goal of us was for us to really uh, take out Brazil in this episode, this campaign, really. But at, least, let's, at the very least, complete the uh, the few focuses for Senor Hilter. Yeah, Hilter. Weapons nice, good stuff. Uh, maybe we should make Mountaineers even better. Yeah. And maybe get those uh, last few islands from Great Britain as well. Boop, boop, boop. Nice. Oh, man. Our guys are doing great. You know what? Do this. Go home. Now you have something you can do. Wow, you actually have a lot here. Oh, this is different. This, is this new? They've changed this a little bit. Or maybe they redid all this cruiser captain. Ooh, speed and damage. Ground pounder. Capital ship attack. I like that. And safety first. Crash is musician. Musician? No. Magician. Score critical hit. We don't have a great navy, so the effects of sustained critical hits hopefully won't hurt us as bad. Uh, what do you have here? Capital ships. Naval reformer. Eh, it's okay. Good. Nice. Anything else here? No? Okay. Did they update this at all? Air Doctrine? No, they really did not. That kind of sucks. Yeah, branch Independent Spirit, that's fine, whatever. Yeah, everyone's repairing now. Huh. As they probably should. Mental rockets. Nuclear reactors. Very good stuff. Resource-wise, we're still out of a lot of stuff. We're actually running out of seal too, huh? Well, no more export folks. We would have limited exports, maybe. Or just close the economy. Base construction speed boost. How much steel and aluminum do we have? We have none. We have a little bit, honestly. Uh, we're going to do this one. Limited exports. So it helps us out with steel, helps us out with aluminum a little bit too. Mountaineers. Backbone of the armed forces, more soft attack. Special forces attack. Special forces training time cap. Well, we're not using marines or paratroopers, so it doesn't really matter for this one. I like the attack.
Should do okay, right? Not bad. There's only one tile, one division attacking there. Yeah. And then we'll do this one. Far too long, the South Atlantic have been held by Britain, despite clearly being within the Fourth Reich's sphere of influence. We should rise up and claim what's rightfully ours, even if it means declaring war on Great Britain. These sounds will be Argentinian by any means necessary. Yeah, pretty much. Nice Good stuff. Going to repair some more. Four, nice. Going to become a fleet protector, almost skill level five. That's good. Losses. Yeah. Kind of what we have to do. Good, they're moving in. Kyoto. Or Quito, maybe not Kyoto, but Quito. There's a lot of divisions there. Now they're all dead. I love it. Fantastic. Oh, there's a thing right there already, huh? Well, you know what? We'll get rid of that one. Good. Very good. Oh, hell loss is down here. Nope. Nope. Vamos. Look at our navy app. Probably repairing. Yeah. Do both now. Nice. Continue to improve uh relations, yes. Are you gonna get there or are we gonna just die? Like come on, let's make a choice here. God, they take forever to move. Even after you've all this territory, and you put them on like strategic redeployment, that's terrible. Really, sir, Admiral's doing well. Almost a fleet protector, and now he's a fleet protector. I think safety first. Oh, there he goes. See, very nice. Specialists. Love them special. Are you going to do anything about this or are you just not let them kill us off? Blow the Panama Canal. That'd be nice. I'll drill for oil. Yeah, definitely drill for oil. Um, anything else? Capital ships, armor attack. Sure. Hit them even harder. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're definitely hitting him, hitting him harder. Beautiful. We didn't even really need a navy of our own too much. I mean, these guys, they're not very good. <laughs> they're really, really not good. But they're doing the job, so... <clears throat> as my voice cracks. Uh, of course, they've been landing even more soldiers through here. But they need more combos to blow up, so... But well, I want to see if we can do this one. This will be about, probably the last focus we do here. Hey, and it's a comment. Imagine getting trapped in South America. Call it the South, the Fourth Reich's or uh, South American disaster zone. Go to Montevideo, please. Yeah, big mistakes. Big mistakes were made here. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Good, good, good. There you go. I wonder if we got the stuff too. We should have those good powers. Did we grab it? No. Oh, did they reject us? 
Hmm. Big sadness. Lots of big sadness. Ooh, adaptable. I like it. And you? You can do that one instead. Juan Perón. We can circle that stupid. Oh. Well, of course, Brynn doesn't give it to us. But, you know, we tried. I think overall we did very well. I mean, this is not the ideal setting for us right now. Oh, and we'll liberate ourselves here too. Um, but overall, this has been a lot of fun. The Fourth Right campaign is actually super fun. I didn't even realize that we could go down this way too. So, other than that, negotiate with Britain. Oh, we did. That sucks. Hmm. But I don't want to go to war with them. I barely want to go to war with these guys that we're currently at war with right now too. Oh. Well, Belgium's not in a faction. Oh. Austria exists. Hello, Karl Landar. And the, you know, the Union of Soviet Republics is just dying. Oh my god, what happened here? American Japan versus other Japan. China's looking good, though. But I think I'll end it there. This has been a pretty fun campaign. We've done pretty darn well overall. I wanted to do this route just because, I don't know, the faster route seemed like the easiest route because you get more division attack and whatnot. But now we're dying all over the place. And... Yeah... That's not looking so great for all of us. But hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, look at that manpower, holy crap. Consider uh, leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great 4th Reich Senior Health the rest of your day.